welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. It's all about coaster day. Now, if you know me, you know that I don't do coasters and there's a few reasons. I'm not a coaster snob. I actually love coasters. I think they're so pretty. I think you can do so many, sorry, I heard noises in my house. Um, so many artistic things. What I don't like about the coaster is after you do your art, you then have to fussy about and do the rest of the stuff, which I do not like doing. However, because I got inspired again to do many pieces of art, I am um, doing a limited edition 20 sets of coasters. Uh, so those spots are filling up already. I'm only doing 20, but I'm really excited to like get into them and do like many little pieces of art because you can do so many different things and that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, many different options of how to make a pretty coaster, hopefully. So, number one, where do you get these tiles? These ceramic tiles are fine. Uh, in Toronto, Home Depot does not have these four inch tiles. Um, I got these at Lowe's. So you'll check your own store. Um, I got a big box, pretty reasonably priced. It was like a full box this big. Was it like $2 for the box or something? I don't know. Um, so yeah, now you don't, I don't treat it or don't do anything because I'm going to be resining the top. I'm not worried about it peeling. Um, if you leave it untreated, it will peel. So, uh, we'll get into the finishing after, but I use heat resistant resin. Um, and there's many different brands. You can check how high they go up to. So I tape the back. This is three strips. For, now there's different ways to do it. You could just not tape the back, okay? Do your business, resin it. You'll have like the resin drops, drips here. And then you take your Dremel, ring, 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 ring. That is so annoying. Although every, either way is annoying. It just, you gotta choose your adventure of annoying, okay? So if you leave that, don't tape it because you're lazy. Do it, resin, and you have like little drips, ring, 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 and then you sand it. That's what that noise is. Um, and then you get adhesive cork. I do like to put glue, even though it's adhesive. So I glue it, cork it, stamp it, you're done. So. You can either not tape it, sand it, tape it like this. I will still get the drips. Um, you can put a heat gun to like warm it up when it's done and pull the tape off, which is pretty easy. If you're not doing a bloom and if you can do your art and then like leave it rested like this the whole time and never move it. Like if you're doing like some more Dutch pour things or even resin thing, you can actually tape along here and leave the tape hanging like this. So it just drips off and then you pull it off. That's up to you as well. This is the way we are doing it today. I prefer blue tape. I find it easier to take off than green tape. Now, I have to be totally honest. I'm not the one who does this. Chris does this for me because she enjoys it and I hate it, so it's perfect. That is also the only reason I'm doing this is, be, is because um, Chris taped 100 for me and Chris cleans them up for me. When you order my art, Chris is the one who wraps it and stamps it. So I'm very lucky because for me, I just wanna do the art and never see it again, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's why I don't do them, they're very fussy. Okay, number one, let's talk about what we're doing today. Um, this commission wanted blues and golds. What I do is when people order a commission from me, I send them a little note and I let them know that they need to go through my art on my Instagram, which is easier or Facebook, send me screenshots of the colors they like so I can use the exact color. Somebody just telling me this is what she did. Actually, she, she sent me a picture of blue coasters and she's like, and they were, there's turquoise. She's like, I like this, but like a lighter turquoise. So to me, I don't know what that means. So I mix up my paints, I show them, I give her a swatch, this fell, that's why it's like kind of funny. Uh, and then they say, I choose my exact colors and then they say yes or no. 
because I do mention once they're blown out, especially for, I mean, coasters I can redo, but for bigger pieces, once they're blown out, that is it. There's no changes because fluid art is fluid and you can't control what happens. So these are the colors. Okay. We are going. Um, golden, phthalo turquoise. We are going. I'm not sure. Hmm, yeah. Um, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Greenish blue, maybe. Uh, TLP. Billabong, the ultimate beauty. I'm sorry, these lights are so intense. Hold on. Come on. Ooh, whoopsie. Okay, real. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's why I, these lights are like, but at least, oh yeah, okay, you can see better a little bit, right? Okay, Billabong. Um, this is just gold and teal. Mm -hmm. And then this is Holcroft Marina. And then we're going to throw in, uh, I think this is Macaw. TLP Macaw, you can't see yet. So anyways, oh, and Deco Art 24 karat gold. Uh, I mix it like this because I was doing something else, but that's what that is. Okay? And that's what you get here. So let's actually have some fun and do different things. I'm going to do, so I'm going to do a few because I'm going to, I don't know if she's going to want alternative ones. So I'll do like regular blowouts. Um, but then like, let's do a swipe. Let's do a half blowout. <clears throat> let's like get crazy. Uh, that's why I love coasters because you don't have to have a perfect blow to get a cool coaster. You're making like cool art with cool, uh, composition, which we love. So uh, let's do it. Okay. So what I do is I do put a little cup. I use paint as a glue and I mean, it's pretty good of not spinning off but it might. Uh, also, I wanted to use a new Sherwin-Williams color. This is called the Naval. It's very similar to Anchors Away, but whatever, you're not really gonna see it, but you know, it might pop up. Okay, I've also decided to eliminate this Holcroft, and you'll see why in a minute. So, how much paint to put on? You know, I often put a lot of paint on, but since we're trying to help you here, I'm just a little spoon. Um, I would say like, let's see. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is gonna go forever. <laughs> I was gonna try to count in tablespoons for you. Okay, but, okay. One tablespoon. Okay, that should be enough. Is that two tablespoons? Hmm. Let's pretend it's a little bit more than two tablespoons, okay? This is actually quite thick. Um, maybe because it's so cold in my basement, it thickened up. So I like to go like this only because I don't want anything stopping the paint from flowing off when I blow. Now, when I blow on a coaster, my goal really is to blow the cell activator over the edges. Okay. That that's how you get full cell coverage. You have to make sure that you put enough tube paint down to do that. So let's start with this you want to cover a third of your tile okay so here we have now that's quite enough but i like to do more so just so you know size wise because it's going to grow because we're adding all these paints this is a good size okay um but because i like billabong i want it to shine so and snake your color outwards don't just like plop it down in the middle okay then I have the, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick, um, golden phthalo turquoise. Now I'm just gonna drizzle it like this because I don't want it to take over anything, okay? Uh, then I have the, I said this was macaw, but it just looks gold to me. So let's just see what it is. I'm gonna drizzle that too. Oops, maybe this is just, hmm. Oh, no, I do see some green. Lacar or Shimmer. Okay, so you can see there's plenty of paint here. We're going to definitely get full coverage. Like for a normal person, this is quite a bit of paint. Okay. Then we have our turquoise. I'm just, oh, it's a little thick. 
Mm, I'm gonna thin it in a little bit. So my next concern is, I opened a new bottle of Floetrol because I want to save my favorite bottle because it's running out. And I've opened now three bottles and they're really thin. I think they went bad because they've been sitting around for so long. So I don't know if I love the cell activator. That's still thick. So we'll see how the cell activator responds. <sighs> okay, here we go. You want to make sure all your layers are perfectly, that's better equal okay and a little bit of gold so you can see i almost have i want to do more uh i almost have a full tile of paint so this would technically suit a 12 inch or this much paint all right and then we're finishing off with the amsterdam but i mean it goes to show you how much paint you really need i'm just used to going big all right, so here's my cell activator, okay? So I'm just gonna blow the cell activator right off the edges, okay? This paint is thick. Did you see I couldn't even blow it off the edge? I don't know if I like it. So thick. Okay. But anyways, you see, like once I spin it off, you'll see. Now for me, the perfectionist, obviously I don't like this blow right here, but we'll see how it goes while I spin it. The colors, definitely pretty. Um, might be darker than she wanted though, because she did say light turquoise, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, if that's the case, like I can switch it up a bit. Um, but not bad, nice colors. Okay, let's spin it. Now I'm just concerned. I wanna make sure because it's so thick that it all spins off. Um, and I don't wanna spin it too hard, obviously to go flying. Okay, I mean, so I'm just going around the edges like this to make sure all the pink is off. And like I said, you can make something small look really pretty because you don't have to be so fussy, you know, about what's going on. Um, it's fine. I don't love the big cells, to be honest. And I think that's my, it's my cell activator which I'm mad about. But, let's see. It's fine, I don't, no, I'm not loving. The colors are super pretty. And you guys might think I'm being too picky. The colors are really pretty. Just this, the large cells, I, I can just see that my cell activator is misbehaving. Um, all right, I'm gonna mix up my, my old size for, I think I have to get a new flow troll. Well, I'll show you the difference though, but okay. So, uh, let me just put this aside for a minute. It is cute, but it's not perfect. And that is, I believe, a um, product issue, not a Lisa issue. I mean, we'll see. Also, as I said, this pillow is quite thick. So here's the special bottle. Um, let's see. Let's troubleshoot a little bit. So sad that she's leaving me. This is definitely in three years my favorite bottle. So thick and delicious. Uh, I'm only using a little bit because, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna do another one. Um, that might have been too much. Um, and with exactly the same, just with the cell activator, and we'll see if it's that, or if it's, I have to change my pillow because this is quite thick. It just actually yesterday went below zero here for the first time. So maybe my paints are like, what's happening? Yeah, I'm gonna have to thin this down. But anyways, we know that this is a nice flow draw. Too thick. 
Um, but again, I think it's important for me to show you this stuff. So, you know, sometimes it's not your fault. Do you know what I mean? And you have to know your ingredients enough. Still thick. To, I was gonna make a little bit. Okay, we're gonna really cherish this. Uh, you have to know your ingredients enough to know what to, to shift and change. Okay, so we're gonna do this again with that pillow. And if that pillow is yucky, then we know. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Oopsie. You don't really need that much pillow, especially with all the paint I put on. It's weird, these colors to go um, aren't usually that thick. I'm wondering if it's this particular color. Okay, here we go. Billabong. Pretty. Uh, Phthalo turquoise. I don't. I think this is um, not macabre shimmer because it's green and gold, but there's no turquoise. Okay. And we have the turquoise. Okay. Then we have 24 karat. Okay. Then I have this. Let's see the difference. Okay. Here we go. You can see it right away. Look at the pretty cells, right? Isn't that amazing and frustrating? It's frustrating to me because like, look at how cute and gorgeous that is, okay? And it's just the Floetrol that is the problem. And that makes me very fashe because I have so many bottles and I shook them all and I think they all just went bad because I got them many years ago before even Fluid Art Co. was selling them. Like, look at how cute and pretty this is. Cute, okay. Annoying, this is going in the garbage and I'm gonna just have to like probably trash a lot of that flow draw. This is so cute. And you'll be very surprised at the difference uh, between the two. Okay. So sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it is. <laughs> oh, there's a little, hold on. a little bloopy in there. Hold on. Okay. Oops. Spilling things. Everybody relax. Okay. Hold on. There's just a little. Oh yeah. Yucky ducky. Okay. Um, cool. I'm much happier now. God. Okay, so I just want to show you something. Look at that. Big, melty yuckiness. Cute. Okay? So there. Um, all right, let's do... Um, let me just continue, I guess. Wait, there's another bloop here. And then I'll just do a close, close up of everything. Okay, I have to be careful of these bloops. Yeah, look at this. Gosh. Okay, one more spin. Yeah, let's just keep it going. I'm gonna put it over there and then we will do close ups. But look at how cute. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do four more of these and then we'll like do fun stuff, right? Okay, hold your horses. Okay, so relieved. Um, okay. 
Or are you going to get bored if I do four of the same? All right, let me switch it up then a bit. Um, all right, next one, I'll do like, mm, hmm. Next one, I'll do like a crazy blow. I don't know, right? I might even skewer one, which, ooh, you know how I feel about that. Okay. I'll try to get through, through these fast so you guys don't get bored, because it's quite repetitive. Okay. Um, okay, crazy blow, are you ready? What is a crazy blow? I don't know. I guess that was just crazy because it got stuck. <laughs> God, do you see why I love this bottle so much? It makes the cutest cells. I don't know what I'm gonna do when <laughs> this runs out. All right. So I do let it sink for a minute, but it's perfection, these little cells. So before I panic though, let's talk about what I can do. To this bottle of Floetrol, I can try to add some matte gel to make it um, thicker, okay? So I might try doing that at another juncture um, because that's what it is. It's just very thin and the, like it doesn't have um, the things in it to help it like sink and create tension for cute cells. All right, so my crazy blow didn't really turn out that crazy. <laughs> but again, it's not perfect, right? But that's okay, because it's really cute. Okay. Might as well just continue two more, right? And then do like a swipe or something. So here, there's a bit more left, but I guess it is, oh no, no, no. See, I saw it going. See, there's a spot there, so it's not perfect coverage, but still. All right, why don't I do a close up of this while we're at it? <clears throat> just so you can see. And then we'll figure out what we're doing next. Okay, let's continue now. Um, it is, they are on the darker side because I'm using darker pillow. Um, I could use lighter pillow. Let me just finish two more of these and then like maybe I'll use lighter pillow. Although, see, I'm not loving my pillow these days is the problemo. Um, I don't know if they changed something. So it doesn't give great blowouts, but maybe on a coaster it will be okay. Um, then I'll just have her choose which one she likes. There's gonna be lots of options here. Okay. So yeah, I'll quickly, I'm, I think they're really cute. I'll quickly do two more like this. Then we will play around, do like a swipe, a blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? All right. Who doesn't like blue anyways? How can you go wrong? Okay. So while this is sinking a little bit, let's see. I did, I have decanted a while back some 
uh, Glidden Essentials, which is the white I like to use. Let me mix her up a bit. She's been sitting a bit. So you can see, there's like, it separates. So I decant it into three or four of these cups because it's straight out of the can. It's too thin for me, but it's been acting funny. Meanwhile, let's go like this. Multitasking here. I'm really happy with these. I think they're cute. And you can see why. What's also great about coasters is you don't have to worry about the edges. When you go big, you have to decide, do I want flower petals? Do I want, you know, you have less chance of having to wreck and skew, schmooge things because there's less mistakes. You know, I see schmoozing as covering up mistakes, even though they're very beautiful. Um, I know people really love them but you know, I have a hard time with them. But you know what I'll do for one test tile? I'll do a purposefully bad blowout, okay? And then <clears throat> we'll schmooze it to fix it and make it pretty. How's that? I mean, I'll try. <laughs> oh, no, don't. We see, it, it hardly fell off because of the paint. Okay, we're doing good. Are we all off? Let's see. A little bit more. I'd really like to spin it. No. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go for it and spin it on here. So I want to make sure it doesn't melt. You know what I mean? I just feel like I can get more off this way. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's bring her over. And we will do our last one like this. Okay. Want to place them flat as possible. All right. Last one like this. I'm gonna pop it just right on here because that's what we're doing now. Okay. And. You know the drill by now. Here we go. You can really crank these out, you know, once you get in the groove. So next one we'll do white pillow. And if the white pillow doesn't work, I'm gonna go back, back, back to dark pillow. We'll see how it blows out. Um, and then, you know, just play it by ear. I'm happy at least I have this set going. Hopefully she likes them. Or someone else will like them. Okay. See, look, I did that in under a minute, right? Okay. I will say this pillow is a bit thick. Normally I can blow over the edge. This one wasn't my best blowout. Um, we'll see what we can do with it. But um, that also is something to notice as well. If your pillow is too thick. All right, now, oh, let me dig this out. I do much prefer spinning like this because I can spin it a little more intensely. Oh, see, you didn't even see that it's a bad blow because all the bad parts spin off, right? All right, so you want to spin all the paint off and done. Yeah, look, it was under, you know, five minutes. Okay, so yeah, let us now Go to the white pillow. This over here. Spot, relax. Okay. So, let's wipe this off. 
All right. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this pillow. You can already see it's thinner. We don't know how it's gonna react. Okay, do the same thing, billabong. Um, I'm just gonna go like this. It's okay to get blue on it because you're not gonna see it. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And this. All right, fingers crossed. About this pillow. Okay. And like that. Here we go. funny it's thick too <laughs> maybe one of my paints are too thick mm. oh. you can see it's a different blowout do I love it no is it gonna be ugly perhaps does this bother me yes so maybe this is one of the ones I would say you know what I don't enjoy this very much um are you gonna be mad at me? Let me spin it out so you can see what I mean and see what happens. I don't wanna ruin it yet. This will be like the, the plain tester one with the white. Um, and you know what's funny? You know what? It's actually kind of cool because it looks like a flower. Um, when I asked you guys a long time ago, I think I compared the exact same colors with a light base and a dark base. And I preferred the dark base, but a lot of people preferred the light base. So this is what I'm talking about. This kind of looks like a pretty piece of art. It looks like a little flower. So, and then you guys will get mad at me if I ruin it, so I will not ruin it. Unfortunately, I do have to keep spinning it. So we'll see what happens. But this can just be like, but you see it's not as um, cell popping. And again, that's the difference. Be because this pillow isn't as thick, it doesn't produce cute little cells as much as the other one. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this one. It's kind of boring to me. But again, you guys might yell at me. So um, let's do a close up of it so I can show you that little, there's just one little thing that's bothering me. Um, this little like hole here. So I'll do a close up. There's like some cool colors here, like the billabong, we love it. Um, not really caring for the rest but now we'll have some fun. Hi guys, thanks for watching. So what we're gonna do is I'm making this into a three-part series because um, the next part I'm gonna do is swiping for coasters. They're really pretty. So I did like various swipes uh, to show you that. And then the third part um, of the series will be resonating and finishing your coasters. So stay tuned. I hope you liked this one. Let me know which ones you like better, the dark one or the light one. Um, by the way, the client, I showed the client, she loves the dark one. And um, stay tuned in a few days for the swipes and then stay tuned for the resin. I love you, bye-bye. Slightly pulling towards me, okay? Wipe it down, go to the next one.